Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Luki, and today I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to make the smithy. So, um, on first glance, I thought the smithy was pretty pretty straightforward um, from the campfire tutorial, and I thought you, like, you could kind of derive it, but now that I've been messing with it a little bit, I've realized it's not quite as easy, so let's go ahead and get started in that. Go ahead and type a folder called smithy. Uh, go to game, search, anvil bench, because it's not actually called smithy in here, which can be a little tricky and annoying. Um, so let's go ahead and start grabbing all the files we're going to need. We're going to go to the uh, reference viewer down here. And we're going to start dragging and copying files into our smithy. So we're going to copy here the Ingram entry. And then we're going to go to find the... There's a, there's a few things. I think there's four files total we'll need. Uh, let's see. Ingram entry anvil bench. Primal item structure anvil bench. Find that in content browser. Drag that into the smithy. Folder. Copy it. Uh, then we're going to go to. Let's see. Is there anything else over here? Yes, the storage box. We're going to need that. Find item in content browser. We're going to drag it over. Oh, we reload. Drag it over. There we go. And there's one more thing I'm looking for. There we go, the Primal Inventory BP Anvil Bench. And grab that and drag it over. So I know that may be a little confusing, especially if I'm going a little fast for you, you couldn't quite find them right off the bat. So remember we're looking for the Ingram Entry Anvil Bench, uh, the Primal Item Inventory BP underscore Anvil Bench, the primal item structure underscore anvil bench and the storage box underscore anvil bench so let's go ahead and rename these um real quick to underscore my mod well, let's go ahead and rename them to underscore my mod one because i this is my second take of this i kind of screwed up the first one Stop it. So for you guys, it'll be underscore my mod. Or whatever you've been doing this whole time. And here's the last one, underscore my mod. So let's go ahead and start off with the basics, open up the Ingram entry. Uh, we'll go ahead and knock this down to character level zero, just so I won't have to deal with it when we're doing testing. Um, Ingram points one. Uh, we are going to be giving the player blueprint to the player inventory so you can craft it. Um, it will be referencing not, not the primal, primal item structure without the my mod. You're going to need to reference the one with the my mod. Compile and save this. Then we're going to go open up the Primal Item Inventory BP, and actually we're not going to do that. We're going to open the Primal Item Structure, and scroll down to where it says Storage Box Anvil Bench. This is something I missed last time. We're going to reference the structure to build to be the Storage Box Anvil Bench My Mod. Double check out, make sure I didn't miss anything else. Don't think I did. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the crafting resources real quick. To be thatch just for testing Let's see now hopefully you guys know what I'm doing here I mean I've done this plenty of times in my other um, tutorials I'm basically just adjusting the base crafting resource requirements here which is pretty simple if you've seen the other ones if not feel free to go check them out um, okay so I've adjusted this oh, adjusted the structure I believe so I need to adjust the storage box itself, which is the overall item. So we can see here we have the, we went to, um, I'll go slower, storage box, anvil bench. Then we go to components over here in the top right. Then we're gonna look over here and we can see primal inventory BP underscore anvil bench C1. We, we need our own component for that. So we're gonna look for primal inventory BP anvil eh, bench 
my mod, which is our version of it, obviously. I and mean, these have spaces in between them when you look it up. It's kind of annoying to look up, so you have to put a space between each of the words. Um, so we're going to go ahead and delete the old one and just save the new one. Okay, now that we've got that, we're going to go back into the storage box. Scroll down to where it says... Primal Item Structure Animal Bench. We're going to go ahead and do Primal Item Structure Animal Bench of my mod. I do believe there was one more I'm missing. Nope, I guess I got it. Okay, I guess we'll find out in a bit. <laughs> okay, let's see. From here, so let's go ahead and open up the inventory, because that's where we're going to be where all the stuff is. Scroll down to where it says default inventory items. So you can see there's 50 elements in this, which means there's 50 different items in this little chain. Um, if you go to look at default ingrams, you can also see there's 50 elements there. Whenever you see something with a bunch of elements, the exact same number, it's probably not a coincidence. So what I'm trying to say is um, these directly correlate to these. So what, what, how exactly do they correlate? So um, when you see the item up here, you can see slot zero, slot zero. So um, for slot zero, you're going to look at the primal item weapon gun. Um, and you can see the primal item weapon gun for the default engrams has a one. So what does that one mean? So the one basically means that when you craft the structure and you put it down, it'll give you the option to craft it through blueprints. But if you were to have a zero, so if you have a one here, you can craft the blueprint of the gun. If you put a zero, it automatically gives you the item the second you craft the structure. I'll demonstrate this in a moment. So let's go ahead and delete all of these real quick, just for the fun of it. Um, so we can add our own, our own item, which I'm going to be adding the musket, which we had previously made in a different um, video. Hopefully you guys have seen that one. If not, feel free to add whatever you're going to add. So just make sure you follow my steps here in a moment. Go ahead and save that. And then we're going to go actually open up the musket. Scroll down to where it goes to crafting. Here we go. Crafting requires inventory component. Wait two hours while it loads. Then type in anvil bench. My mod. We're going to compile and save that. So basically what it's doing is it tells you to go ahead and make this item in that bench. So it won't be making an inventory, it now makes it in the bench. Also need to adjust the ingram, so we're no longer giving the inventory to your blueprint. I mean, that's that. The blueprint to your inventory. We're now giving the um, blueprint to the smithy's inventory. So now we're going to go to my mod primal game data pp. Open that up. Then we're going to go to additional Ingram Blueprint classes. We're going to go ahead and add a new one. And we're just going to add in the Anvil Bench that we created. Anvil Bench. My mod one. Then we're going to go to the bottom. says additional structures to place we're going to be adding in the let's see smithy uh we're adding in that storage box anvil bench my mod so you're clicking that one with the picture with the mesh all right then we're going to go ahead and compile and save this because i have not done that yet and then we're going to test it and hope it doesn't break so first of all myself the resources to craft it go to click v view ingrams scroll down there it is that's nice oh, yeah. i gotta level myself up so i can get the ingram points and there we have it we're gonna craft it uh, unfortunately we need a foundation so i'm just gonna shift f9 to give myself a stone foundation and that's gonna change every single version for some reason 
So we crafted that, and we're going to look at weapons, firearms, and you can see the musket right there. So as you can tell, um, we have worked this perfectly the first time. But um, as I said, I put one. So it, when you um, put the one in the default Ingram list, right? Right here, it's going to give us this blueprint to craft with. But we close out of this. Go back to the primal inventory BP. Change this to a zero. If I can find it again. Shift F9, create a foundation, give myself the XP and resources. level up something. Oxygen, most useful, useful one, right? And then we're going to go to learn those, place the smithy. It's going to give us the musket automatically. So now we, instead of having the Ingram craft, it just gives us musket. made our musket a shotgun for some reason <clears throat> because that's how musket works okay so that's basically it for the basics of this tutorial um, you guys could definitely do some really cool stuff um, as far as loot boxes for events and stuff like that um, if you were to put zero on a few items and just place them around the map and do pretty cool stuff like that um, let me think if there's anything else because I like to add in some cool stuff you guys can do with it at the very end of the video let's see we're, it's going to be in the inventory section, most of your cool stuff for this, unless you want to change like the hit points in the box, which will be in the storage box. Let's see. Max inventory items, you can crank that up. I would not crank it up to 800 billion, I think I just got to, but you can. Um, and then we can go to, I don't know, I'm just going to leave 300, don't mess anything up. Uh, max item cooldown, not clear. You can just look at look at it from further away and access it with that. Max item craft queue, you could put eight. So you could have eight items in the queue instead of five. Max inventory item, put 150 instead of 75. Um, change the description here, change the crafting speed here, so that way it'll, you can make a faster version of the smithy. So instead of it taking like two hours to craft an item, it now takes two minutes. Uh, obviously there's nothing in Arc that actually takes two hours, but if there were, you could increase the speed there. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it for the most part. Um, but if you guys like this tu tutorial, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have anything, any questions, anything like that, feel free to comment. Um, I get a decent amount of questions, so if I don't answer, just ask the question again. Um, because oftentimes YouTube doesn't notify me of every comment. It just, like every third one, it gives me a notification. So I, I guess you gotta get a little bit lucky with that. Or you can feel free to uh, try to contact me on Discord. Um, let's see. Arc does have a group, um, the Arc modding group. So feel free to go and join that. I'll try to leave the, a, a uh, link to this in the description. And if I forget, please leave me a comment and let me know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.